Yo, what is going on my dudes? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video, we're going to be revisiting the player-owned farms because we got a bunch of ideas on the Discord that were both rejected and are being considered. So without any further ado, we're going to jump right into the video. Let's go. Alright guys, so like I said, we are revisiting player-owned farms. I understand that not everybody uses Discord and probably have not seen any of this new stuff since my previous video. So we're going to jump into all the new ideas that, like I said, were both being considered and rejected. Just like our last video, we're going to start off with the things that were rejected. So let's jump right into those. So first off, making this a new skill or an elite skill. They simply don't have the time for this. It's just an add-on to farming. Reworking farming along with this update, not something you're going to be doing. This is simply its one-off thing in addition to the current farming. So nothing about the way we farm now is going to be changed when this launches. Mounts as a reward, simply not going to do them. Next, slaughterhouses. So apparently uh, players have voted and their opinions say that they would rather not visibly slaughter their animals with this update to gain any benefits. So they're going to be designing the overall update around that idea that they want to avoid any type of slaughtering of your animals. Next up, footstep trail cosmetics. I don't even know why this got suggested as a reward space for this because it was something that was supposed to come with the treasure trail reward but apparently it says here due to technical issues it didn't make the cuts it's not something that they can't put in the future but i imagine if they ever do it would most likely be a treasure trail reward or they would find it in some other type of content but not with player owned farm next up it's more unlikely than rejected but the concept of tree grafting I'm not entirely sure what that is. The idea of a fruit salad tree? Not likely they'd have enough time to do the idea justice, so keep in mind for a future update potentially. Quickly looked it up on a side note, in case you don't know, grafting is where they join plant tissue so they can grow simultaneously together. So they like the idea of combining different plants, but it will not be coming with player own farms. Specifically targeting uses for collected items, things like seaweed, buckets of sand, pineapples. This will put more pressure on players to collect those items every day. Some of these may be getting additional uses on player owned farms, but we won't specifically target items like that. And finally, any sort of quest. Not with this update, though it's always a possibility off the back of this update. So, definitely no quests with the player owned farms. And that pretty much concludes up to this point at the time of this video, the rejected ideas. So, we're going to go into the more exciting stuff, things that are actually being considered for this update. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into those and see what we got. So, animals to look after your farm, rather than as resources, for example, cats, sheep, dogs, etc. They just want to put a disclaimer that it's likely that this will not be at launch, but Mod Raven does like the idea. Next up, transmog fruit. It's a consumable that will turn you into an animal for a short time. I don't know if this means it would be cosmetic or it actually have some function, but it is something they are considering, so I'd like to see how that pans out. Next up, an aggression potion for skilling. Basically, in a potion that would like attract hunter creatures near you, perform that entices divination wisps closer to you, or they jokingly say honey smeared all over your skin and entices bears through, rip you from limb to limb. That would actually be pretty cool. Not the whole bear thing, <laughs> the first two to be specific. <laughs> Similar to the dousing prism for divination, but the wisps will actually be attracted to your character. I can see that speeding up divination. Also, hunter would be good. Next up, grapes as a farmable resource. Prior to hearing this, I had no idea that you actually couldn't grow grapes. So that is likely something that will come with player own farms. Be a new easy way to gather those for things like your wines, etc. So that's good. Next up, three field method, which is basically the plan method from earlier in the previous video I talked about, he said, but apparently this terminology is important. So the three field method for farming. Interesting to see how that is going to be integrated. Expanded disease for animals. So for example, your animals may get sick at some point. You'd have to identify their symptoms and diagnose them and give them the right cure for them to survive. On the exact other end of the spectrum, we have anti-aggression items, things that will keep you safer while you're skilling, specifically for any skills that happen to be in hostile environments. So that will actually be pretty interesting to some people. Next up, we have a high cost, high XP method, which would mean you invest a lot of your resources to get an increased XP rate. Some people who just want to jump in those farming levels or high scores, XP, whatever may have you, 
will probably utilize this, so I'm sure there's a demand for it. And also adding a teleport to the player owned farm with the farming skill cape, which is a nice little perk to add to it. Next up, giving pet dogs a use. This one seems less likely for the initial launch, but it is considered at some point in the future, so they're definitely not going to be ruling that out. Next up, basically an item that will give you no harvest whatsoever but double xp and the flip is also true where you can have no xp but double your harvest so lunar spells so apparently many people want new lunar spells with the player owned farm however it's not likely to be introduced with the update but there is room for future rewards in that space later on we also got contracts with visiting farmers and are the locals so you become the meat provider for example of the king of ardone or fred farmer may want some spider silk from you potentially a range of new compost types not just increased growth speeds higher yields but also that have a chance to give new seed types possibly a farmhand that harvests fruit trees for you though they need to be careful with this particular update to avoid daily scape seeing as they want to eliminate that as much as possible in the future also considering the trees from phoenix lair meeting history and new ooglog curious to see what kinds of xp rates or the uses for those would be next a growable fairy ring or repairable or simply just a new one if one is not nearby the farm's location already Seeing as they don't actually have a location yet where they want to plant the player-owned farm, this may or may not be a thing. Moving on, we got new seed types. They'll need to know where the gaps are in the current farming skill and what the new produce would do mechanically. Also a wieldable spade, possibly an override. Don't necessarily know the use for that. Maybe it could be just one of those cosmetic rewards. Traveling farmers. They will arrive at your player-owned farm, ask for certain things, which could actually be of seed sink, which we definitely do need in the game in exchange for some other type of resource. Some of the suggested farmers could be the Gower NPCs, Gag Farmers, Martin, and Fred. Also new God Grapes, but they need to consider output rewards from that. I imagine something like Armadale or Bandos Grapes to create like new Wines of Armadale, Wines of Bandos, etc. But again, they need to discuss what kinds of rewards they would need to be. Next up, there's been a whole bunch of perk ideas suggested on the Discord itself, and pretty much all of those are being suggested at this point. Also, a chargeable patch teleport item of some sort, which would be pretty cool. I guess you could charge it to some form of patch and then be able to teleport to any one of those farming patches with ease. Obviously, you would have charges, and in some form or fashion, you'd have to recharge it, but that sounds like a really cool idea. Next up, an item akin to memory shards from Divination. Basically a farming seed slash produce loot bag. So I'm guessing whatever you happen to be doing with the player on farms, you'd come across one of these bags, which would contain either, like I just said, seeds or some type of farming produce that could be useful to people. And finally, we have teleports to other skilling locations. Think of Livid Farm and Living Rock Caverns, etc. Those kinds of things. So that pretty much concludes all the new considered ideas. Remember, these are just ideas and not 100% set in stone. The Discord's always pumping out new ideas that are being considered every day. So it's likely that these things can change in the future. Just want to make sure you're aware of that. Anyways, that wraps it up for the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I am out. Peace.